On Thursday morning, biologists with the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife Resources performed an assessment on the largemouth bass population in the Pikeville City Lake. Biologists used a technique called electrofishing to catch and study the bass. Yeah, with the electrofishing, we use it in the springtime with for our largemouth bass, black bass assessments. And uh, with the management, we need to know what the numbers are, health, size. Uh, our length frequencies so we know uh, if we need to do some supplemental stocking or we need to modify regulations on the particular lake. Uh, our lake streams, the habitats vary so we need to have different types of management regulations. While some may question if electrofishing harms the fish, biologists explain how electrofishing is a better alternative than other methods to catch and study the bass. The electrofishing, we use it because it's really the safest and best method we have to collect the fish. Uh, it's real efficient for us versus if you want to use rod and reel. Uh, nets can be hard on fish. Uh, they used to, years ago, use a chemical that you could put in the water, but you're actually killing the bass just to look at them. Uh, so with electrofishing, and our boats are set up, we can uh, adjust amps, pulses per second, the AC, DC, but each species different reacting to it, and we can set it to where it just stuns them. It gives us uh, one to two seconds to dip the fish. If we don't, the fish is gone. Every uh, 15 minutes, we stop, go through the fish, and then we release the fish right back to the water, and they swim right away then. While other area lakes have a largemouth bass population with 12 to 15 percent of the bass being greater than 15 inches in length, the Pipeville City Lake hosts a largemouth bass population with over 50% of the bass being greater than 15 inches. For EKB Evening News at 6, I'm Ronnie Hilton.